What if small content creators and any filmmakers could tell better stories by integrating CG characters into their films without expensive mocap equipment, a large VFX team, or a massive budget? What if your shots could go from this to this? In hours instead of weeks. Using Autodesk Flow Studio, me and a small team created a two-minute short with over 20 CG character shots in less than two weeks and under $5,000. Traditionally, a project like this would cost between $25,000 and $40,000 using a freelance VFX pipeline. I'm Jay Musi. I'm a 3D artist having worked with characters and hard surface models for film and games. I've created educational content for companies like Autodesk and had my 3D software reviews featured in PC Mag. I also founded 3D Beast Academy in my very own YouTube channel to make professional 3D workflows more accessible. For years, I'd spend weeks modeling something amazing just to hand it off to animation, lighting, and final polish. But I never really got to tell my own story. I wanted a tool that could take me beyond a single 3D discipline and let me direct the results. Flow Studio isn't here to replace the entire VFX pipeline. It expands what's possible. For indie filmmakers, solo creators, and 3D pros, it gets us 80% of the way there fast with the control to refine to blockbuster quality. Traditional VFX pipelines are expensive, labor-intensive, and time-consuming, only allowing large studios to have great effects. Most generative AI tools look good but lack control, consistency, and real integration with live actors. Small filmmakers must often choose between cool-looking shots with no control or controllable results that blow the budget. We're going to take a look at how Flow Studio works, and I'm going to help you fast track your very own CG shot in just a few clicks. We're going to start in live easy mode. This is one of the four main project types. We're going to keep it extremely simple, and most beginners will start here. We're going to select our video, drag it onto the project, and I'm using an old shadow boxing video shot on my phone. There's no fancy lighting and you don't even need pro gear to start using Flow Studio. I'll hit next. We're gonna scan the frame for actors in Flow. We'll actually detect all the people in your video. Now we're gonna select our CG character, drag it onto our actor, and we're ready to export. So Flow Studio offers several export options that affect both quality and post-production control. For this, we're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna export a single video file with all those passes baked in. We're gonna select the desired resolution. And one note about Flow is that it won't actually up res past the native video's resolution. After that, we're gonna go ahead and choose the file format that we want. For this demo, I'm gonna choose MP4. And then we're gonna send this off to the render queue. Flow renders in the cloud. So you will be able to keep working since this doesn't hog up your local resources. As promised, Flo took the actor's movement and turned it into animation data. It mapped that data into our selected CG character, and it handled all the animation, the lighting, and full compositing, all done automatically. This is the clean plate that Flo generated by masking out the actor. Now, you might notice some artifacting, and that's because the background is very detailed and sharp focused. For better results, it helps to shoot with some depth of field to separate the subject. Flow also lets us download that clean plate so we could refine it or replace it altogether in post. Unlike traditional mocap systems that use multiple cameras to track joints in 3D space, Flow relies on just one piece of 2D video. That means that it has to guess what limbs are doing what when they're hidden behind the actor's body. Flow usually does a solid job, but sometimes you'll see a hand or a foot misaligned. 
These are called occluded limbs, and that's one of the few areas where manual cleanup might be needed. Fortunately, for situations like occluded limbs or animation issues, Flow lets us export the full scene to Maya or to Blender. That means you can correct the character's animation manually if needed. You also get everything you need from the textures, camera movement, and lighting setups. So you can re-render the character once it's been fixed. For best results, your actor and your CG character should have similar proportions, especially the arm length. If the character limbs are longer, his arm movements like these punches might not fully extend. And the CG character's hands can easily clip through the head. Your character's proportion directly affects how clean the animation looks right out of the box. Now, you can fix this by keeping in mind the proportions of the characters while filming, or you can fix the, an the animation a little bit later with the exported 3D scene. When I made my short film, AI Training, Flow got us 80% of the way there. But for that final cinematic polish, we use Flow's exported passes to refine that last 20% with a more traditional VFX pipeline. Here is the breakdown. This is the raw camera footage that we imported into Flow Studio. And here's what Flow Studio gave us with the actor completely removed. This is also known as a clean plate. Here's the isolated CG character Flow Studio created. When we combined both of those passes into this shot, we ran into a very common issue. Flow Studio mapped the CG character correctly, but those shadows didn't match. And that's because the actor's shadow was still baked into that clean plate. So we were working on very small set and separating the actor from the back wall to get some depth of field wasn't really an option. And that's where having those separate passes from Flow Studio comes extremely handy. So I handed this shot off to my compositor who brought it into Nuke and took it a little bit further. He added proper shadows, motion blur, a little bit of a camera shake and some dust to boost the realism. <laughs> And then I brought it into Premiere Pro for that final polish. I added a color grade, tweaked the timing with some remapping just to sharpen up the action, and layered some sound effects to complete the shot. You've seen how we created one scene. Now it's time to see it all come together. This is the world premiere of AI Training, a short film brought to you live in large part with Flow Studio. The Boxing Commission, in its infinite wisdom, just granted its first ever license to an AI. <laughs> if AI can't even draw hands, maybe it shouldn't be throwing hands. Any thoughts on the new AI boxer? <laughs> that thing, it doesn't train, it imitates. It steals the styles of real fighters. It's copy and paste boxing. But if you guys want your headline, if that tin can ever stands in my way, I'll send them to the recycling bin myself. All right, let's see it. Throw a jab. My microwave throws a better punch than that. <laughs> Show's over, kid. Get lost. Let's show them how real AI trains.
As a longtime 3D artist, I'm going to be honest. When I first tried Flow Studio in its Wonder Studio beta days, I didn't want to like it. Like many artists, I felt the fear of being replaced by AI, of watching my craft and my identity become obsolete. But I had this story in my head for over two years about a misunderstood robot boxer that I couldn't let go of. And I had to bring it to life. While I didn't texture, model, or render a single asset, I got to explore a different side of my creativity. I got to act, I got to direct, and I got to tell my own story. For years, I labeled myself a texture artist, a hard surface modeler, and a look dev artist. Those titles became my comfort zone. And comfort is a very dangerous place for those artists that seek growth. Your greatest asset isn't the tools that you use or the software that you master. It's your creativity. And once you embrace that, the world and its opportunities open up. Tools like Flow Studio allow us to keep pushing our creativity and ultimately tell better stories. Thank you for being here. And thank you for Autodesk for the opportunity to tell this story. For more 3D workflows, you can check out my YouTube tutorials or you can take your skills further with my online school. Just scan whichever QR code works best for you.